Hey guys, Proto Red here, um, and as you can see, I am back at school. I have a poster up, and I got all this stuff behind me because I'm back at school. Um, I don't have my mic right now, so if the audio quality on this video is just complete dog shit, that's why I'm gonna get it on Tuesday. I'm sorry, just go with it for the time. Um, but in 2016, I played a lot of games. It was probably my biggest year of gaming. Um, and just, that was it. Uh, I really liked it. And I played a lot of games in 2016, some of which I was huge fans of and some of which I was not huge fans of. Uh, and so it's very late. Uh, I know it's March now, but I give you the top five games I played in 2016. Let's get started. So coming in at number 5, we have Batman Arkham Knight. Now I know what you're saying, Arkham Knight came out in like, what, 2015 was it? What are you doing? Playing this in... A lot of the games on this list, I was very late on, I'm gonna be honest. This was... 2016 was kind of a catching up year for video games for me. Uh, but I finally played Batman Arkham Knight, and... I liked it. It was good. Um, you know how Arkham Origins had good gameplay? but a really crap story. I kind of feel like Arkham Knight had a great story, not so great gameplay. I often find the Batmobile sections really hard. Maybe that's just me, because I don't play a lot of racing games. Uh, I don't like car games in general. Um, but I found that the gameplay was kind of eh. They changed some things seemingly without necessity. Um, so yeah, that was like the only reason it's number five is because the gameplay was kind of weird. Um, but it was a great game. I would highly recommend it. Batman Arkham Knight. Now I'm aware that Pokemon Go was completely a fad. And I'm aware that it's pretty much past now. But you gotta admit, it was revolutionary. It was this game that came out and everyone was playing it. There were Pokemon fans playing it, non-Pokemon fans playing it, everyone, all sorts of age groups. It kind of brought people together in a different way that hadn't been done before. Uh, and it was fun to play. It got me outside, it got me to actually exercise, which is like, <sighs> um, so yeah. It was fun to play and it brought people together, but it was like Tamagotchi. It was purely a fad. It passed away after a time, and there was nothing else to it. Pokemon Go was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it in the first couple months of me playing it, but... They ruined it. Let's be real. They... They ruined it. Moving on to number three. At number 3, we have Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 was a game which received quite a bit of criticism, and I understand why. Uh, the gameplay was a bit weird, but I put it higher at Arkham Knight because I didn't think the gameplay was that bad. I don't play a lot of first-person shooters, uh, so I didn't really have a reference for it, but I really did like this. Uh, I loved the stories because I mostly played in campaign mode because I'm too cheap to pay for Xbox Live Gold. <laughs> Um, but I mostly played the campaign, and I really enjoyed the stories, and I enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, so yeah, uh, Battlefield 1, while it did receive a lot of criticism, and I know a lot of people didn't like it, I liked the storytelling, I liked all the weapons, I liked um, different kinds of gameplay it offered, like the tank sections and the plane sections, as, like, and merging those with the on-foot sections into a singular story. I really liked that. Um, I especially liked the scene you're playing as the Australian guy, I don't remember what it is. Um, and you just have to take out the entire fort on your own. Like, that's so cool. Spoilers. Sorry. Spoilers. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, that was a fun game. I enjoyed playing it. I understand why it got some of the hate it did, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. And that's why I put it at number three. Every single one's got a story to tell.
coming in at number two on the list, we have Paladins. Now, um, I've streamed this game a couple times because I do love it so much. And the obvious argument is, oh, it's just an Overwatch knockoff. But it really isn't. I've played both Paladins and Overwatch, and they're similar, yes, but they're still very distinct individual games that aren't that neither necessarily ripped off each other they just existed at the same time and they're both good and i both enjoy them um but the reason i'm putting paladins on here instead of overwatch is because i started overwatch in 2017 and i started paladins uh in early 2016 and i'm i know it was like released before that but i enjoyed it nonetheless it was a good game uh it is a good game um the gameplay is fun, uh, and just like High Res, I think did a good job with that. I think they added a lot of cool things. Um, it doesn't have the same kind of in-depth story that Overwatch does, but it still has uh, great gameplay, fun characters, and I would highly recommend it. Uh, watch that, like watch my streams of it. Um, I love it so. Yeah. Paladins is number three. Two. Number two. <laughs> so, at number one, we have a game that I was exceptionally late to the party on. This game came out in 2013, but I love it. And that game is Bastion. How does one describe Bastion? Bastion is like... Exactly, you don't know how to describe it. The music is incredible, the art style is great, the gameplay is fun. There's nothing negative I can say about it. It's a fun game that I enjoyed every second of. It's got incredible storytelling, a narrator. Like, the story is told through the voice of a narrator. His name, I never remember, but it doesn't really matter. Um, who has a voice that sounds like... Imagine Morgan Freeman and the guy whose name is on the screen right now because I can't remember. Imagine their voices just... <clears throat> you have this narrator. And it's... It's crazy. Um, the gameplay is fun. The characters are in-depth. If not... They are simultaneously in-depth and simple at the same time. Um, and you can easily connect with them um, and there's like just enough obscurity to keep you coming back but not enough that it's confusing uh, the gameplay is fun the music oh the music is so good I literally this is one of the few soundtracks that I literally listen to just without the gameplay I have it on my phone it's great um, the music is great the gameplay is great the art is incredible I would highly recommend Bastion. It's seriously one of the best games I've played in a long time. And it is simultaneously on this list and on a list, another list that I'm working on of my top five games of all time. That's, that's a big one. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos and I put a lot of work into this one. And also, not all of the gameplay is mine because I can't record Battlefield 1. Uh, or Batman Arkham Knight gameplay because I played them on my Xbox. Uh, so I will leave the links to the where I got that gameplay in the description. Go check it out. Uh, both of the channels will be in the description. And I will talk to you guys next time.